we are in San Francisco. We've got this pretty sweet view. We're here for two things. The Red Bull circuit race and the Red Bull bake. Ah. So much that when we checked in, Red Bull put a fridge in here for us. So we came in, my logo is etched to this Crank Brothers tool. There's like this super sick tool in here. They also gave me some pedals. Look at that fridge, dude. So what are we here doing? Racing bikes, but not just any bike. A fixie bike. Drop down. So we're on the state. It's a fixie. Uh, it's got two flat tires and gearing for like a time trial. So we've got to go to this K1 cart course right now for a VIP two hour shakedown of the course. Cause dude, I don't know anything about fixies. I've got two hours to learn and to get this bike operational. Well, boys and girls, this is where I will die. Previously on the I Don't Know How to Ride a Fixie show. Okay, a fixed gear bicycle is where the uh, crank is fixed in direct relation to the rear tire. So as fast as the rear tire is going, your crank is going. If you wanna stop, you can't just hit a brake. There are no brakes. You have to slowly back pedal, but it's not like the old bikes where you just lock it out. You know what I mean? It's, it's always moving. And so you have to be pedaling forward, but backwards at the same time while pedaling through these turns. This is like, okay, I kind of rode the Fixie a little bit around Bass Lake. I just went straight. This is the most technical course you could possibly imagine for a Fixie. I am so out of my element, but I am so excited. Let's talk to a pro. Yo, what's up? This, is, this seems like chaos. I don't know what to make of it yet. It's not gonna be fitness based. It's gonna be who's like a little crazier than everybody so else. So basically cool. not, what you, yeah. not what you're good at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. No fitness, all skill, not my cup of tea. Start with eight riders per heat. Uh, the last person across the line on every lap for the qualifiers gets pulled. So on the first lap, the eighth place finisher gets pulled. On the second lap, the seventh place finisher gets pulled and so on. For the semifinals and finals, there will be neutral laps worked in to extend the race. But so in the very first one, uh, when you're fourth, you, you'll get pulled, but you still advance? That's correct. So okay. for the qualifiers, the top four finishers will advance to the semifinals. And then out of the semifinals, uh, the top two finishers from the semifinal heat will advance to the final. You got some grippy tires. They're low key rubbing the frame. Go ride. You got your, you got your setup set up? Yeah. Speed, bro, speed! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're putting on the full face. It, halfway a joke, halfway not. Uh, and, you know, but here's the thing look, this is so out of my element, but I don't care. Like, this, there's a feeling you get when you do something new that your learning curve is so steep and you feel so much progression in such a short period of time. I'm gonna increase my, my ability here in, so, in such a large amount in such a short period of time. And that makes you feel good. I'll be down and now below, keep it a buck, I don't Always been one up on all of these boys. They be trying to front for all of these boys. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I to the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they know the subdivision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they abundance and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. Obviously, the more time you have on this, the better it's gonna be. So we squeezed every little bit out of our track time here, which to be fair, this is a VIP session. Like this isn't what everyone else is gonna get. So if I had come into this like how everyone else is and not a vegan YouTuber, bro, I would have not clipped in at the start, I would have crashed in turn one. So I'm so grateful for this little opportunity to sort of figure this out. It is so much fun. It is a completely different level of fun because there's really no fitness involved. Like you're not, your heart rate's up because you're scared, but other than that, it's all technical skills. 
I am so excited for tonight. I wish that Travis was racing, because I think Travis would do really well. Hey, yeah. Super fun. Uh, I used to dabble and fix these stuff a little bit with my buddy Justin, but that's it. Um, this is fun. So I think the atmosphere is going to be incredible. Travis and I were joking around how sick it would be to have the number 69. And I don't know if James did this on purpose or if it was just by a random happenstance, but your boy is number 69 for both days, today and tomorrow. This is the most fixy thing. Dude, I am fitting in just as well. What an environment, what an atmosphere. It is so, it's the antithesis of like a road race, right? Where everything's so serious. So one of the things is that Power, endurance, weight mean nothing here. It is all skill and confidence, which I don't have either of those things. But uh, dude, if I can just get out of this first heat, I will feel so good about myself. So James said he put me in, a, in an easy heat. This, no, dude, I'm in a stacked heat. Everyone here looks so fit and fast. And there's Chris and it's like, I'm a ball of nerves, bro, but let's, let's go. I'm a little nervous, but the you know the practice riding this morning is gonna do me wonders, and I think I just if I can clip in, I'll be I'll be solid. Dude, Jeff L Jeff Linder went from eighth to first, like that's it's crazy. Last. I have never been so nervous in my entire life, like. I accidentally went into the wrong heat, and that actually helped me a little bit because I realized how much you have to fight for that spot because it's just first come, first serve. Clipped in, immediately I was in fourth, and I was like, oh, I'm cool, I'm gonna advance. Everything's great. Him and Chris came together, and then they were like hogging the lines, so and then I was like, well, I don't know what to do here, and then I'm going super slow, and then I get passed by some guy, and I'm like, that's it, dude. I'm a failure, my <laughs> life is, is garbage. Uh, and so then I was freaking out, but I had Jeff during practice, I'd followed him and he has this one line 
that's like, it swoops so good and I was able to get underneath that uh, Mike Spikes guy and make that pass. And that was like, so good. So then I kind of just rolled around um, in fourth, qualified, but now this next one, because I got fourth, I'm in a stacked heat. And Linder, who went from eighth to first, is in mine. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, dude. That was so much fun. Just clip in and you got it. Ready? Go. Wow, can you get a load of this? The vegan cyclist is still not clipped in and he's halfway through the course. I wonder if he actually understands how pedals work. Has he ever clipped in once in his lifetime? Well, he's dead last right now, and since it's elimination of last place on the first lap, this vegan is out of here. two laps, first two laps, because uh, the final there are a lot of strong riders, so it's really messy. So I had to stay out of that, uh, that's what I did. And then after the second lap, it was just managing, I tried to ride as clean as possible, to like, uh, don't spend too much energy and uh, keep the, the distance. I would keep checking back and I had a good, good gap, so. <laughs> Got my $8 water, got my vegan burger here. So I went down to SoCal for the Elio uh, flannel shoot that drops Tuesday, October 26th. Check it out. Super sick. Anyway, bought my son some shoes. When I was doing that, I said, hey dude, you pick me out some shoes. So my 10 year old chose these for me. So I'm wearing what a 10 year old would buy as a 35 year old. So look, what a phenomenal night. A roller coaster of emotions because of how you can't make a mistake. There's no room for mistakes. That's definitely like a new experience for me. But the whole thing, the whole thing about braking and, and, and turning and aggression, I mean, if you just go down the list of all the things I'm not good at, this takes all of them. And so I really, really enjoyed putting myself in a position where it's like I'm so far out of my element. Definitely the semifinals was super embarrassing. I, I got pinched right off the bat and then I didn't clip in and that's it. You know what I mean? So by the time I clipped in and I crossed the finish line, I was last place and that's it. So I only got one lap. It wasn't like I 
got to really try to come back through. And I had a really good line. When I was watching everyone else do it, there's this one line that I had, and I felt like I could have been somewhat competitive in the semifinals, but Jeff Linder was there, and, you know, like, dude, he was flying. Like, he was on a whole nother level, and he still didn't make it into the finals. So that kind of makes me feel like, really, no matter what I could have done, I don't think I would have advanced out of it. And seeing the guys in the finals, how fast they were and how on the very edge, like that is, that's the thing here is that you have to exist on the very razor edge of total catastrophe and all the glory. And that is not where I like to exist. I don't like to exist in that space in any way. I would say one of my biggest takeaways of this whole thing is, is how fun a fixed gear bike can be. It is scary. It is dangerous. Where I live, it's really just doesn't make sense to ride that. But I would love to do more track days. I'd really love to participate more in the in the track scene. Uh, I'd love to do an alley cat. I mean, there's just look, ride all the bikes and have all the funds. A huge thanks to Red Bull, Mission Crit, James. Also a huge thanks to Travis, dude. He was sprinting all over the place to get a lot of the good footage. Uh, huge thanks to Chris, he's an awesome guy. You should check him out, he's super funny. Chris uh, Tolley. And a huge thanks to my smoking hot wife, Kristen, who's home with my daughter and my son. She's taking him to like a bike rodeo and taking him to soccer and all that, which I asked them to come on the trip, uh, but it just didn't make sense. We've been traveling a lot. Uh, so, you know, my wife did. I wouldn't be able to do any of this cool stuff without her. So, babe, I love you. And anyway, tomorrow, the Bay Climb, full gas. Uh, that video will be up tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and as always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah.